once you have the knowledge of the truth, now if you sin willfully, that man called Jesus that died on the cross, all that is null and void. It don't cover you no more because you came to the knowledge of the truth and you didn't do nothing about it. You just kept sinning, right? The wages of sin is what? Have you heard that? The wages of sin is what? Death. They teach that in the Christian church, you know? The wages of sin is death. So if you do something that is sin, when it comes back full circle, it's going to lead to what? Death. Our people, if we eat too much pork, it's going to lead to what? Our people, if we smoke cancer sticks, it's going to lead to what? Our people, if you know what I'm saying, um, we're homosexual, it's going to lead to what? Diseases that lead to what? Death. Right? So that's why we can't sin. We can't, we can't go against what's written, even though sometimes we don't understand it. Because your heart might deceive you and say that, you know what I'm saying, you like the same sex. But we know that the Bible speaks against it. Right? So get that. You said 18? Acts 17, 30. 17, 30. This is the book of Acts chapter 17 and verse 30. Right. In the times of this ignorance, God winked at. In the times of your ignorance, when you was walking right here, right? And you turned around and said, I'm a child of God. Put a smile on your face, right? The time of your ignorance when you might have been kicking that soccer ball, right? You didn't know some things that the Bible said. When you came here, you know what I'm saying? And you heard the truth. God said he winked at that ignorance. Right? A lot of people say you ignorant, right? Right. So or, can I say something too? Right. The time of the ignorance where you where we used to celebrate Christmas, right? We was ignorant. Right? We was ignorant celebrating right? these holy days, these customs of other people. Right? We were ignorant, so guess what? He said he winked at it. Um, you might ask a white person like, what does the, what does the word uh nigga mean or nigger mean? They're gonna be they're gonna say it's in a it's in a dictionary, it means ignorant. But I have to give that to them because our people are ignorant. We don't know who we are. We don't know what we used to celebrate, how we used to speak. You know what I'm saying? So our people were ignorant, but God said, in your ignorance, what? Read it. At your time of this ignorance, God winked at it. He said, I'm going to wink at it because you, you my kids. Like that beyond straight, beyond scared straight. Once they was in jail and they came back to their senses, you know, their parents kind of winked at it. They didn't leave them in jail. So he's saying, I'm going to wink at it. Keep reading. But now commanded every man... Uh, all men everywhere to repent. Right. He could. You know how to repent? How do you repent? You have to come to terms with your sin and write it down that you know you did wrong. Right. You, you know. And who, then what do you do after that? You know who? Um, you know who King David is? I heard of him. You ever heard of the story of David and Goliath? Yeah. David had the slingshot and he slayed Goliath, hit him in the head. Right. The giant. Right. So King David was. One of the mightiest kings in our nation, right? We learn about George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, but we don't learn about our true forefathers. King David was our forefather. It's written in this book. Everybody reading this book is our foremothers and our forefathers, right. right? Can you name me any of your foremothers or forefathers? Right? <laughs> but you say that like, are they? They are though. They are. Do, does anybody teach you about them? Right, they don't teach that. That's that's your people. That's your blood. Because why? Jeremiah seventeen four says we be discontinued from our heritage. We don't know these things, right? But um, King David, right? He gave a perfect example of how to repent. Go to Psalms one nineteen and uh, verse sixty. Right? He gave a perfect example because hey, the book of Psalms was nothing but prayers. Nothing but prayers. You got prayers against the enemy. Prayers for protection. Prayers when you get victory. You know, David was a man that walked after God's own heart, they said. God didn't say that about too many people in this Bible. You know what I'm saying? You said verse 60? Yeah. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 60. Where is it at? All right, go to 59. Start at 59. This is a perfect example of repentance, right? Keep reading. Verse 59. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto the testimony. He thought on his ways. So at this point... I have been celebrating stuff that I didn't research. I have been eating stuff that's not healthy to me. I have been doing some stuff that the Bible calls wicked, right? Read. I thought on my ways and what? And turn my feet unto thy testimony. So repent means to what? To turn away from. That's all it means. It means to turn. Repent. The Lord repented a couple times in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? He repented when he made a king, King Saul, and King Saul was uh, did some um, selfish things. He repented from Saul and he made David king. So it just means to turn, right? So he caused all men everywhere to repent, right? Keep reading. Verse 60, 
I made haste and delay not to right. keep thy commandments. He didn't think about it. He didn't go to his dorm room and kind of take a nap and then wake up and like, should I stop? Should I not? Is what they were saying really true? They, they were reading out the Bible, but God knows my heart. But wait, he told me that God does know my heart and is deceitful. He wasn't taking no, he wasn't taking time to think like that. He said he made haste, right? When, you, when you're in haste, that means you're hasty. That means that you're in a rush, right? He thought on his ways. He knew that he was wicked. He wanted the kingdom of heaven. He wanted the truth, you know what I'm saying? And so what he do? Read. I made haste and delayed not you, to keep that commandment. Right. He kept the commandments. You, got, you guys got some time real quick? You know what I mean? I just want to ask a question real quick. Mm -hmm. Question is, do you guys believe in the Bible, first of all? Yeah. Uh, how many gates of heaven do you think there are? You think it's one gate that everybody go through? I think it's one gate. It's one gate? Yeah. Can I show you what the Bible say? All right. You getting it? Yeah. This is book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. Because, you know, a lot of times we go to, we, we in Christian churches, and, you know, a lot of times our family members tell us stuff, but we don't ever read it in the Bible. So we make up fairy tales, and we don't know what we believe in. The Bible tell us, hey, look, they have a zeal of God, but then, but not according to knowledge. You know what I'm saying? The knowledge is in here. So we have, we have a passion to serve God and to love God, but we don't know how we're doing it according to what men tell us. You know what I'm saying? He also says what? Um, he also says you ye worship, ye worship not know, you worship, you know not what you worship, right? So a lot of times we don't know what we worship. We think we worship a white man. You know what I'm saying? They put that up, you put horns on his face, people ready to fight you because they think that's God. But the Bible said he looked different, right? So let's read how many gates. So you know what I'm saying? He is, right? Uh, right. God. That's hey, that's number facts. It's not this man though. That man is feminine. You know what I'm saying? But now you can walk away saying you learned something today. You know what I'm saying? Because you know today is what? The Sabbath day, yeah. right? The Sabbath day means it's a rest day. Because God created the, the the world in how many days? No, he created in six. He rested. So what do we do on the seventh day? We're supposed to rest and keep it holy, separate, set apart. Right? So, hey, look, you, you guys stopped to hear the Bible on the Sabbath day. That's that's holy. That's a good thing that y'all did, right? So read this. We're going to find out how many gates there actually are. Because we know the world likes to tell us it's one gate and everybody going through it. Right? So let's get this. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. Bring it out. Right, 21 and verse 12. And hey, look, this is how you know. Hey, well, I'll get to that, right? Because 21 and 12 is how I remember, you know what I'm saying, to go here to, to how many gates there is. Right, read. And had a wall, great and high. Great right and high, it's describing the kingdom. Read. And had 12 gates. It had how many? 12, 12 gates. gates. It had one gate. 12, 12 gates. gates. Nah, it was a gate for everybody just to hold hands and walk through. Right? How many gates it had? 12, 12 gates. It had 12 gates for how many people? And at the gates, 12 angels. 12 angels. What were these angels doing? Right? There was 12 gates with 12 angels. What do you think the angels was doing there at these 12 gates? Before you go into a club, what's there? What's there before you go into a club? Security. Bounce. They're bouncers. These angels are standing at these high gates and they bouncers, right? So guess what? If you ain't invited to the party, you can't come in. So let's see who invited to the party, right? Read. At the gates, 12 angels. Right. And names written thereon. What was the names that of the people that's allowed to go into the party? Read. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of Israel. The 12 tribes of who? Of, of Israel. Israel. No, the 12 tribes of Arabs. Of, of Israel. Of Chinese men. Of, of Israel. Israel. Right, no, the 12 tribes of Israel. Those are the people that get into the kingdom of heaven. So if you're not the tribe of Israel, guess what? You can't. Which gate are you going through? Right. So who are you? You an Israelite, right? You got to be if you want to, you know what I'm saying, make it to the kingdom. But are, 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 can everybody be an Israelite or is that a sect group of people? As a sect group of people. We are a bunch, the Bible said, hey, look, I'm going to put all these curses on you. Right? If you don't listen to me, we went through a whole bunch of curses, cursed in the city, cursed in the field, right? Your, your father's gonna leave the house. You're gonna go into slavery on ships. This is in the Bible. Black on black crime. Black on black crime. Who was that on? The children of Israel. He said, I'm gonna put these curses on you for a sign and a wonder. What do you, when you see a sign, right? You know what's, 
what that sign is represented. Like the brother said, if you see golden arches on the road, you know that a McDonald's is coming up. So if you see these signs right here on this group of people, you know these are the Israelites. You know these is God's chosen people. You know these are the people that's ordained to go to these 12 gates, right? And that's no other than us. You said, your, your, your God is what? And he's what? And he's what? He looked like what? He looked like us. Exactly. Right? Has anybody ever showed you what he looked like in the Bible? I know we know that he black, but has anybody ever showed you? Right. Oh, so, but if 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 God is Jesus's father, has um has a Chinese man ever out of came out ever come out of a black man? So you look like your father, right? So everybody say God is spirit. He don't got a body, right? But what does the Bible say, right? Give me Daniel seven and nine. We gonna we gonna find out, right? If if God's just a spirit. Or he could be whatever color you want him to be. Or if he looked like his son. Right? Read that. This is the book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. Bring it out. I beheld till the till the thrones were cast down. Them thrones are the powers in the earth. This wicked society. These wicked governments. That allow all this wickedness. Right? All these wicked holidays. Paganism. Homosexuality. The alphabet club. You know what I'm saying? All of that. They allow these things to happen. Right? So he said all these thrones was cast down. Because he's coming... He's coming to rule with the rod of iron, right? Read this. In the ancients of days, you know, did sit. Who's the ancient of days? Right? Ancient means what? Very old days, right? So he, the beginning of days. Who created days? So who are we talking about? The ancient of days. God. Let's, let's see how they describe him. Whose garment was white as snow. Hold up. He had a garment? I thought he was just a spirit. He had a garment. Does that sound like just a spirit? Right, read. And the hair. Oh, his... hold up. He got hair? God got hair? What? You telling me that the almighty God has hair? What does he look like? And the hair of his head like pure wool. Who has woolly hair? Hey, touch your hair real quick. That's wool. That's wool right there. You ever seen a sheep? That's wool. That's where we get wool from. Touch your hair real quick. <laughs> hey, look, that's wool. That's wool. That's woolly hair right there. Guess what? Does every nation of people got woolly hair? Like, ah, not so. So, hey, it's telling you he looked just like his son. So we're going to read what his son looked like, right? So today you guys can say, hey, look, I know how many gays there are. I know who God's chosen people are. And I know what God looked like. And I know what his son looked like, right? Proof out the Bible. King James Version, right? Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Right, 1. The revelation of So this is the last Christ. book of the Bible. Last book of the Bible, first chapter, right? So if somebody want to ask you, how you know God black? Last book of the Bible, first chapter, right? Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation. You know what revelation means? The revealing. So it says the revealing of Jesus Christ. Let's go to uh, 13. Let's get Verse 13. It. Right. And in the midst of seven candlesticks. Them seven candlesticks, right? When you read the book of Revelation, it talks about seven churches. And those seven churches are Israelites, right? So he's coming back for those seven churches. So you're going to see Jesus in the middle of these seven churches, right? Read. One like unto the Son of Man, clothed with. First of all, who's the Son of Man? When the Bible says Son of Man, who are you talking about? She said it. Jesus? Right. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So he had a garment on too. When he died and he rose again, you know what I'm saying? He didn't he didn't just turn into a spirit and he flying up, you know what I'm saying? He got a body. The man got a he got a garment. Read. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So he had a golden girdle about his paps. You know what a golden girdle is for? So alright, in war, right, you would put a girdle on so they can't stick you in your fifth rib. They stick you in your fifth rib, it's over with. You suffocating. They puncture in your lung. So he's coming back for war. The world, Christianity, everybody loves to preach that he's coming back for peace. He's coming back to put little kids on his lap, to smile, you know what I'm saying? He's coming back for those things, but guess what? The Bible said he's coming back for war. He got he got war apparel on, right? Glorious war apparel, right? Precept. His head and his hair were white like wool. His head and his hair was straight. Were white, white like, like wool. wool. His head and his hair was brown and wavy. Like white wool. wool. Right? His hair was like his father, woolly. And it was white. It wasn't like this. So this man done striked out. Right? So let's keep reading. Read. Precept. As white as snow. As white as snow. Read. 
and his eyes were a flame of fire. Right, so he kind of looked like um, he kind of looked like your grandfather or somebody that's very old in your family that got gray hair. You know what I'm saying? Right, and his eyes was a flame of fire because it's reflecting off those what seven candlesticks. Because he's coming back for his people. Right, keep reading. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet is white. His like unto fine, fine brass. brass. No, his, his feet is kind of like olive colored. That's like unto saying. fine brass. You know what brass look like? You know what a penny look like? It's brown, right? So penny is like a derivative of like brass, right? But let's see how dark this brass was because we got different shades. All of us right here, we different shades of brown, right? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. You put anything in a furnace, what color it turn out? You can put a white shirt in the furnace, what color it coming out? Black. Just do it black. Right, that man was black. <laughs> That man was black. And if he wasn't black, he was really, really dark. Right. You know what I'm saying? This would be a representation of kind of what the scriptures were, were identified. Morgan Freeman. I got a precept too. Read that precept. To everybody that think, uh, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that think Christ is coming back uh, to be all peaceful, you know what I'm saying? And all loving and caring. Anytime, question, pop quiz. Sure. For y'all who read the Bible, anytime you see red letter in the Bible, who's speaking in the New Testament? Jesus. Christ right so this is uh, Christ speaking and this is the book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34 and it reads think not think not think not that I am come to send peace on earth he said think not hey look they're gonna paint a picture like I'm white and that I'm coming to bring peace to the earth and they're gonna want y'all to believe it right hey guess what if I didn't just break down everything I just did to you and, and prove to you that all those things was true and the first words I said was, hey, Christianity and this guy is the Antichrist. Some people might look at me like I'm crazy. This man is saying that Jesus is the Antichrist. But no, that's not Jesus. Right? He said that people are going to come saying that they're Christ. Many Christ are going to come. Right? And many would be deceived. So what's the biggest religion right now? Christianity. The Bible says broad is the way to destruction. Right? So keep, keep reading. You done with that? No, no, no. Think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I didn't come to bring peace. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Okay, so with a sword, what do you do with a sword? You war. That's for war, right? This is out of Jesus' mouth too. Let's read this. The end of time. Do you believe the rapture is not true? That's what Christianity preached. But the Bible says, he that endures to the end shall be saved. Right. The Bible says, all those that are alive and remain shall be saved. So that's why he said, guess what? I'm coming after the seven trumpets. But you got to endure the seven trumpets, right? The way Christianity has it set up, they want you to be blindsided. So when all these things in the earth is happening, you're not paying attention because you like, hey, God finna take me out of this thing, so I really don't care. But that's why he said be occupied in prophecy. We got to go into the book and understand, okay, Iran is the Medes. They're coming against Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great is America the Great. Okay, this is happening. That's happening. All these illnesses that we can't describe. These Okay, that's being placed on the people. Okay, all this wickedness. You know what I'm saying? You got to make the Bible come to life because it is. Precept. We're, in the, we're in the end times right now. You know what I'm saying? And this is why we're preaching this word because people ain't hear this word. This word ain't on the big screen. This word ain't being preached out to the earth, but it's being preached to his people. Because in the end times, he said his people would wake up. I didn't always believe this. I wasn't raised up like this. I only, I got this news three years ago. I was raised in the Christian church, in the pew, celebrating holidays. It was hard for me to walk away from stuff that when I seen it in the Bible, I was like, that show is Christmas. He told us not to do that. You know what I'm saying? So like you. Y'all like, y'all like uh, fraternities and sororities, right? These brothers was in fraternities. Yeah, I was a Q at this school. You see what I'm saying? And came out of that. We both were. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they both were. You see, say he don't look like it. I he different. I pull up my sleeve right now, but you know what I'm saying? I got the brands and everything. Oh, yeah, right. showing the brands. You got it? We ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? You you ask people at this school about the twins, they're going to tell you, yeah, the cues. You know what I'm saying? But we came out of that because of the power of this book, right? But read this real quick. This also what Jesus said. Because the world like to say he coming back for everybody, and we know that's a lie, I right? got a precept read. after that, too. All right, Con, read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. What happens when it's red letter? Who's speaking? Right. It has, has, the, has the Christian church showed you guys any of these scriptures we just went over? Yeah. yeah. They have? Yeah. Name one. Matthew, 
that he's not coming. That he's not coming for peace. All right, cool. That's, that's cool. good. That's cool. That's, that's good. Spirit is flowing everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Check this out. I bet you haven't heard this one though. Read. But he answered and said, "I am not sent." But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. No, I'm, I'm sent to the little white boy. But, but I am the lost sheep, sheep of the house of I'm Israel. Sent to the Chinese people. But, but of the, the lost sheep, sheep of, of the, the house of Israel. The Arabs. But, but unto, unto the, the lost sheep, sheep of the house of, of Israel. Israel. We really all serve the same God. But, but unto the lost sheep of the, the house of Israel. Israel. Right. He only came. He only coming for so one nation it. of people. The twelve gates are only for one nation of people. So if you don't fit those characteristics, I, I hate to say it, but that's the kingdom not for you. And the thing about it is we've just been taught so wrong that this book was for everybody in 2021. But really what they did was they stole a book from us. Everybody else got heritage. Everybody else got history. But they start our history with slavery. They start our history with MLK. They start our history with slave ships. But they never tell us who our forefathers was because they, they hid it in plain sight. They didn't tell us, hey, look, King David, Solomon, Jesus, all those people that look like y'all because they are y'all and y'all are Israelites. No, they call us niggas. They call us black. We're not black. They call us all these proverbs and bywords, right? And they made us discontinue from our heritage. So if you cut off a heritage like they did in Roots with Toby, right? You're not Kuta Kinta, you're Toby. Guess what? You break the strongest person in, in belief. And so when everybody else see him being broken down, guess what? They're going to be like, well, hey, guess what? It's, it's a new captain, right? And now we're gonna celebrate his holidays. Now we're gonna work his jobs. Now we're gonna be happy when he's happy. You know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna, um, now we're going to um, allow our success to be deemed off of what he counts as successful. Right, so like you. So that's why we're out here, you know what I'm saying? Waking up our people, telling them, hey look, God look like you, you look like God, but it don't stop there. We gotta do what pleases him. We gotta, you know what I'm saying, um, give judgment. Because judgment is light. You had a precept? Yeah. Con. And this goes back to earlier when uh, the brother was saying that they came to deceive us. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't understand this. This how powerful this precept is right here. But this is Ecl Ecclesiasticus or Syrac chapter 3 and verse 24. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion and evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. Right. right? So a lot of our vain opinions... Right, we we like to lean on our vain opinion and not the actual words that is written, and so that's way that way that's how we get deceived. That's how we believe a lie, because we think we're smarter than what we actually are. You know what I'm saying? If I thought I was smarter than I actually was, I would never learn nothing because nobody could teach me nothing. You, the Bible says we got to come as little children. If we come as little children, then we can get the kingdom. What does that mean? We got to be able to relearn everything. If everything was stripped from us, we got to be able to relearn everything. Right. Right, correct? Right. Correct. So I got another question, right? Last question. How do y'all feel about um OnlyFans? Make your money, sis. That <laughs> has nothing to do with you, right? But we just talked about we're who? We're God's chosen people. So God's chosen people are the salt of the earth. The Bible says, What is what is um meat without its savor? Right? What what is meat without salt? It's bland, it's tasteless. So what is being the salt of the earth? The salt of the earth is being the righteousness of the earth. Right? So if we're God's chosen people, we can't say stuff like, make your money, sis. Do what you want. We can't say that. You know why? We can't, you know why we can't say that though? Because it's gonna keep growing from there. And next thing you know, we got women everywhere, you know what I'm saying, that's degrading themselves, selling themselves. Men too. Men too. We got men uh -huh. thinking that they're women because nobody wants to speak up and say we're the children of God. We can't be doing that. That's right. Nobody set an example. Precept. Right. So that's mm -hmm. why we're living in darkness and there's no light. Precept. We're supposed to be the light. Read. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Right. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart right. and sister. Right. Thou shalt in any rise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Right. Not so, get, um, uh, First John 5 and 3. We can't suffer sin upon people because what would you say love is? How do you love one another? Right? Are you waiting for the answer? You don't know how to love nobody? <laughs> it's for the birds. Hey, yeah, that's, the curses. That's, the, that's the curses. That's the curses. Your eye will turn evil. You to feel the same people. way? Right? This is, the, this is the actual love of God right here, right? First John 5 and 3. 
Y'all yeah, look at first John chapter 5 and verse 3. Bring it out. For this is the love of God. This is how you love your brother. This is how you love your sister. Not by saying, hey, do what you want to do. Right? But read. That we keep his commandments. But you got to tell your brothers and sisters what's right according to God. Right? Go to Leviticus uh, uh, 19 and 29. We got to tell our brothers and sisters, you can't do OnlyFans. I'm sorry, sis. You can't be your own boss. I got it. Right? Read it. This All right. Let me finish this real quick. And, you know what I'm saying? Because I know y'all probably not going to come back. <laughs> Alright, this is the book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 29 This is why we can't accept OnlyFans right? Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore We can't be whores God don't want us being whores, that's being a whore When you, when, when you put a price on your body, your body priceless When you put a price on your body though, guess what, you a whore Read Lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of this wickedness Wicked we live in a wicked place because nobody is speaking up. Nobody's giving love to their brother and their sister. Right. So like just like you said, right? Because you said, make your money, sis. But if we all keep saying, make your money, sis, like the brother just brought out, you know what I'm saying? What did it say? It says, yes. let's what? Let's the land fall to whoredom. Let's the land fall to whoredom. Let's everybody start doing it. You know what I'm saying? So Right. And now, guess what? Little girls going to be doing it. They're going to be lying about their age, making OnlyFans. Right? You're going to have perverts to bite. It's wickedness, right? So with that, you know what I'm saying. You guys can go get your food. You can go. Hey, hey if y'all if y'all come, y'all come back. Y'all come in there because I want to ask y'all a few questions too. All right. It ain't gonna be long. I pinky promise. All right. Before y'all go, before y'all go, take a flyer, man. Yeah, we got flyers too. And remember, y'all Israelites, we gotta come back to God. We gotta repent. I want to ask. I want to ask them to a particular question. Let me ask y'all two real quick, real quick. It's, it's just a pop quiz. I just want to ask what y'all learned so far, right? Name me two things that you learned today. Okay. Kind. Kind. Okay. <laughs> Forefathers, right? Yeah. Kind. That's, how we get there. Kind. That's, right. That's, That's right. right. We got to keep the commandments, though. To whom much is given, much is required. Many are called, but few are chosen. Right. So we got to. Go into the Bible and look at what we got to do as Israelites, right? My man right here, King, what's something that you learned today? 12 gates. 12 gates, okay. right? Come. A lot of people don't know that. You know what I'm saying? What's another thing that you learned? The 12 tribes. I didn't know there was different tribes. Come. Right? Our nation is composed of many different people. Mexicans, Native Americans, so-called Indians. So-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You know what I'm saying? And we all look alike. Really, it don't really matter the skin tone. We all, and that's why we always tell people it's not a race thing; it's a nation thing. God deal with nations. You know what I'm saying? So it's not black, white. It's not all that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a nation thing. You get, you give a Mexican a buzz cut, he look like us. You see what I'm saying? So hey, look, they're my brothers, our sisters too. They're children of Israel. They're the salt of the earth, right? And so, hey, look, we got to come back to our God before the end of the earth is here. You know what I'm saying? So that we can make the kingdom come, right? Hey, but with that, I'm going to say, hey, Shalom, Shalom, peace. We're the hopeful elect, and it's our heart's desire that all of Israel might be saved because we know it's an elect remnant, right? Shalom.